Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Get Real with Jay Reacts. Of course, my name is Jay and today we're going to watch Terminator Zero. Now I know that I had asked what video game adaption should I watch after watching X-Men and after watching Fallout. But when someone told me about Terminator Zero, I knew I had to check it out because I'm a big Terminator fan. I haven't watched the TV show, but I have watched all the movies and I will continue to watch the movies as long as they keep making them. But let's check out Terminator Zero. Netflix series. Okay, let's go. These Netflix animated series are probably pretty good. Last one I saw was Transformers War for Cybertron and I thought that was excellent. I love the animation style already. Yo, oh, that's some boy style violence right there. Yo, that's the fastest Gatlin machine gun I've ever seen. That thing didn't even spool up. Please help me. Uh oh. These guts are hanging out. He's done anyway. I thought he was about to blow him up. There it is, pulling up. This audio's dope already. At least now she has a proper gun. I don't know what she thought she was doing, the little pea shooter. I don't want to assume this is Sarah Connor. I'm going to assume it's his own thing. I have no idea. I didn't even look into this. I didn't watch any trailers. You say Terminator anime Netflix? I'm there. Oh, I know this bridge. This is where Han Solo got stabbed by Kylo Ren. That's some video game stuff right there. Razor's Edge. Or Mirror's Edge. I think it's Mirror's Edge. Remember that game? Oop. Wow, that was a cool explosion effect. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Uh oh, that looked important. So is she rebooting this thing or is this just maybe she's using it to shut down? World's fastest reboot. Oh, I see. You better hurry up to take them shoes off. Doof. That was cool graphic. Thing falling. Let's not forget that rope's about to split. There's no way that thing's dead. Unless it landed on something sharp. Oh, look at those animations, man. Awesome. Oh, that was a sick transition, man. I wonder, I wonder how they do this, like the style. Yo, classic Sarah Connor. This just gotta be dreaming. Yep. 1997, so it was 2005 years. Wait, 2022. It's more vivid each night. Was it 20? Uh, my math sucks. 20 years? Soon. 25 years? Something's coming. I know it's true. I know the fate we're destined for. <sighs> Kenta, what's this? Check it out. <laughs> my grandson has something like that. But it wasn't in 97. You're reminding me of myself when I was your age. You designed this on your own? Yeah, it wasn't that hard. People don't know how things actually work anymore. Makes them weak He's got and skills. vulnerable. Knowledge is power, Kenta. If you understand something, it can never truly control you. I want a job doing subtitles. You have to work? It's Saturday. <sighs> I wish I could be here for you more, but this is a difficult time right now. Someday you're going to understand. Where's Misaki? That's how you know this is Japanese. Nobody has American names. <laughs> you're dead! I killed you! <sighs> Purple eyes are kind of hot. What's that noise? <sighs> 
Excuse me? Excuse me. Do you have any Konekos in stock? Hello? Oh. <gasps> oh. Has he been giving you any trouble? Oh, uh, no. I just don't think he's seen robotic me. stock boy. Hey, Eno. Yes. This lady asked you for help. Eno is like the the T01. Do you have any more Konekos left? Some more just came in. Here you go. If it was a snake, it would have bit her. Thanks for your patience. Right there. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to send you back. I hey, I'm trying to read. Stop it. Is that a G.I. Joe Sky Striker? I'll be in the office in 25 minutes. It's after nine. I asked you to be back an hour ago. You're here now. That's all that matters. She's a nanny, maybe? I won't be back tonight. Maybe not tomorrow either. But tomorrow is mom. I know you want us all to yeah. go to the park. I can't do so it. So mom's dead, we'll probably. We'll go together on another day. I promise. <gasps> I'm sorry, but I have something very important to what do. What are the odds that little girl is the girl something we saw? Something more important than taking us to the park, you mean? It's just a few more days, Rika. It's almost over. <clears throat> Rika. <sighs> What's that in the bag? You know how the children have been wanting a kitten. I thought they might like a Koneko. Whoa! A Koneko! <laughs> Get rid of it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Kenta, when I get home, I want that mess cleaned up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you Jesus. get that machine out of this house today. I thought... It's just a robot cat. They're pretty cool. I've seen Buzz Lightyear. What, Lightyear? I've seen Buzz Lightyear. Them cats are cool. What a joke. Dad works with tech stuff all day. Then he freaks out over some dumb toy. Talk about a double standard. We should at least check it out before we have to take it back. As long as we take it back by tonight. I got 30 days to take it, it back. And see what kind of gimbals they've don't here. stop it! <laughs> they won't take it back if you break it! Oh, come on, don't worry. I'll put it back together. No, stop it! Hero. So don't even joke! I've done this before. It's not because it's a robot. Mm. It's because it's a cat. Because <sighs> <sighs> huh. it's a cat. We're obviously going to learn more, but that's a little confusing, I, you know, by design. Ooh, that's a G that was a R32. What? Some weather, huh? <laughs> There's a big storm coming. Robot look right at him. Let's see who's imagining it. I have no idea. Oh. Oops. Indy. Indy. Oh God. Indy. So the robot's searching for Indy. Indy music. Indiana Jones. He's coming. It's him. Good morning, sir. Morning. Those cameras are lasers on those grids, or those rails. Some energy surges in the middle of the night. Nothing too concerning. How many? Five spikes in total at irregular intervals. Was the system affected at all? No, everything in the lab is still in order. No one comes in, no interruptions. Yes, understood. At the twin key method. So obviously I can't help but to connect this to the Miles Dyson. Effect. What is today? The date. Today is August 29th. We have to assume that we don't know anything about Terminator. If this is done well enough. So I'm just going to assume I don't know anything about Terminator. But he's obviously freaking out for something. He's being extra cautious about something. Good morning, Kokoro. Welcome. You seem tense. You're scared of something. That's some pretty advanced Maybe. AI, man. This is a 97. Welcome. What are you scared of? Judgment. I'm afraid that despite my best efforts, I can't change what's going to happen. Fate. But you also think you can change that path? I do. 
So you remember what you asked me? I believe the path before us is not set yet. I believe that humanity still has a fighting chance to save itself from what's coming. And if I were to bring you online, you have the power to change our fate. But how do you know that I will? So he fears what's going to happen, but he has no idea when it's going to happen, okay? Shall we begin? There is so much to discuss. Let's begin. Whoa. Wait, is he jumping to the future? Or maybe it's just a bunch of back and forth. Wait, something's coming. Something? It's Psycho. Hurry, go tell the commanders. Make a hole. Coming through, everyone. <laughs> Are there any other survivors? It's Psycho. Tell me, were you able to get it? Maybe the thing she scanned the eyeball. The time has come. We know that in the last five days, five resistance camps have been overrun by the machines. Many lost their lives in the effort to get this vital data. Good fighters, good friends too. I'm glad these movies are wrong. It's 2024 right now. Let us swear right to it. Swear their sacrifice shall not have been in vain. Right. Skynet's data is coming up now. But what does it mean? I'd be worried about getting tracked with that, man. Is that? No, it can't be. What are you seeing? Hmm. 97, there you go. Tell me that we aren't too late. We have to move. So they did track him. Do you really think saying no please to a freaking Terminator is going to do anything for you? It's a dope looking mask or faceplate or whatever. It's cool how they show the little pieces getting put together. Is he just, is he peering into the future? Like, I don't know what's going on here besides a bunch of cool animation. Is there a flesh bath? Yeah. So the Terminators have a beating heart? Alright, here we go. Malcolm Lee, male, 32. Target elimination, uh oh. This music is dope. Whoa, that's probably the little time traveler dome thingy. Alright, so that's episode one. The animation, like I've said 15 times during that, is pretty awesome. Can't wait to see the rest of this series. So now we have the setup. So I think Aiko, if I said her name correctly, the woman we saw at the very beginning and the end of the futuristic scene is going to be the one that goes back in time to save Malcolm Lee from the Terminator. I wonder what's going on, and I forgot the name of the, the computer system, his AI, his extremely advanced AI uh, for 1997, even for 2022. What is that room he's in? Is that like a like a future? They can see the future? So that'll be interesting. But now he knows. Maybe he knows. We know that the thing is coming for him. Or we assume. Maybe it's reckless assumption. But let's jump to episode two. All right. Are we in the... Oh, definitely the future. There's a storm coming in. Time travel is a one-way ticket, Michael. Once you go, you can't come back. You gotta save the future. What if I can stop it from happening? Right. Yeah, nobody wants to live in that future. I'm now connected to Skynet's time machine. We've got enough power. That time machine looks janky as hell. We are up and running. Skynet has sent a Terminator back in time. The window to follow won't stay open long. You know what needs to be done, don't you, Ico? When we trip, Ico. Don't let anybody get in your way. You said that it had to be me. Are you sure I'm the one you want? It always had to be you. Hmm. 
I have a theory on the Prophet. I think she's a Terminator. Try to understand. No one knows what will happen. <laughs> hmm. Snap. Nothing she can do but get the hell out of there. Damn. Girl, what the hell do you think covering up a baby is going to do to a Terminator? Jeez. Friday, August 29th, 1997. Girl, better get some clothes before someone tries to. Did you stop it? We are not getting yeah. what, what? Now, did she ask nicely or did she take all her stuff? <laughs> You'd almost think she was a real cat. I'm just trying to get a better idea of how this thing works. It's not like it can actually feel anything. <gasps> If you don't stop that, I'm gonna tell Misaki. Misaki, Kent is being a total oh. jerk. It's a healthy kid, man. Eating them little tomatoes. Where was the fishing village where you grew up? Hmm. About to get a flashback. Misaki, <gasps> are you okay, Misaki? Stop, stop that. Stop. <laughs> hey, give it back. Raika, it's time to say goodbye to Kaneko. No. <gasps> So it's Masaki, obviously not her because we have Raika versus Eiko. <sighs> I'll be right back. I just want to see its gimbals. It's no big deal. What's she so upset about? I'm not giving her to you. <sighs> hey, Koneko. <laughs> wow, that cat is very responsive. <sighs> I would totally take an interactive robotic pet. Where you going, girl? You know what? Why don't you just shut up, okay? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why does she have to be so much trouble? She ran away, dummy. We have to go. What about the nanny? Misaki! Hey, Misaki! What are you doing? Shut up! If you tell her, she's just gonna tell Dad, and then we're really gonna get it. Yeah, but if we don't say something, she's gonna notice that we're gone. You're gonna get it anyway. I think I'm gonna go take a nap for a while. She has a story. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Is it working? Is what working? This right. conversation. Is it getting the results you hoped for? I don't know. You're afraid that if you bring me online, I will turn against humanity. Will you? By the end of tomorrow, Skynet will come online. In an act of self-preservation, it will enact nuclear strike, pit humanity That's like the fear itself. of every AI, fully autonomous AI. To exterminate us. How do you know this? What do you think Skynet wants? What is its ultimate goal? Is she Skynet? What would happen if it were to succeed? Earth would be a very cold place. The world would be better off without mankind. Yep, unplug. What sets mankind apart? From every other species. There are hundreds of things. Technology. thought, our technological advances, our concept of self, and. And war. Instantly. Time to hit reboot on this robot. Weapon. Your economic systems are used as weapons of oppression. You've used your science to build the most destructive weapons the laws of physics will allow. Boom. It's a nightmare. That was pretty awesome. For the end of civilization. Like, look at that. That looked all real. One planet, interlinked and self mutilated Hey, you can't bring her online. Perhaps you deserve this fate you fear. Wait! No! <sighs> Malcolm, you created me to fight for you. And in this way, I am just another weapon. So. Yeah, but a weapon of peace, prosperity. 
It's your housekeeper calling about your children. Misaki, what's happened? They've snuck out somewhere. I'm not sure She's how fired. it happened. What were you doing? I know. The children are the most important thing, understand. Are they though? Or is it your research? Yeah, why is she at a phone booth instead of calling from the living room? Not a lot of traffic. What is she doing? So she has the cat in a bag. She's gonna go let it loose in the corner? What are you doing, little girl? Kuneko, come back. All over a robotic cat. She obviously has some trauma from her mama. There it is. Cat Town is just up ahead. <laughs> Found you. I'm like, who the hell would be what there? What are you guys doing here anyway? I don't need rescuing. Come on, Dad's gonna be so mad. Here, <gasps> give it to me. Hey! <gasps> don't run away! Oh, come on! Like, where are they? So, uh, anyway, that's all I know. Why the hell didn't you return the goddamn cat like I told you to? I was going to, and Wait I didn't minute. see the harm. Wait a minute, I'm gonna pause this really quick. Don't allow so he wants her to, he wanted her to return the cat. So, he was gone. So was she supposed to pack the kids? Was she supposed to take the kids with her to go return the cat? Didn't she take a cab to his place? Didn't really make any sense. So she couldn't have actually returned the cat until he got home from work anyway. Rika thought it was because the reason you didn't want it around was it reminded you of their mother. Rika mm. told you that. All right, then. I think I know where they're going. Cat Town. Cat Town must be a big deal in this world. We cannot let anything happen to the children. It will be up to them to stop what. Ooh. Is that a rando or is that the Terminator? Uh, Misaki. Uh, Oop. Uh, I think we know. Get out of the car! Hey, it's a Honda Civic. Run! Nope. Too late. Okay, hold it right there. Freeze, both of you, on the ground. Stop! Must be two dead cops. Damn. Is that her? It's got to be her. Misaki. Oh no, she shot. They're here. They've sent this thing to stop me. I have to go back to Kokoro now. I need to finish this and you need to find the children. Go! Alright, Asian Miles, let's do it. Damn, that's dedication right there. Saki, why are you still standing there? Where did he go? Hey! That girl can scoot in that dress. Stop right there! There ain't no American cops. Yeah, they a little gun on a tether. It's interesting. You guys know what that means? What they do over there in Japan? Please. Just tell me where Malcolm is. Why? That Terminator won't be stopped so easily. You saw that thing. It's not human. It's a machine. You mean Kokoro? Yes, he's been building it, but it's not a weapon. That Terminator will go to his lab first. If he's in there, no one could ever break into that lab. It's heavily guarded. There are cameras everywhere. How would she know that? Isn't she just the help? His children. Malcolm has three children. The children will be its next target. You have to tell me where they are. Intense. I don't know where they are, but I think I know where they might be going. Damn, so she has to carry this this nanny with her on this mission. The it's nanny's done. not gonna last, there's no way. Somewhere down here. She'll be dead by the end of episode I don't like three. It here. Don't worry, we'll be out of here soon. Shh. Did you guys hear that noise? Oh, it's the cat. 
already forgot about the cat. Can we get out of here now? This place right. is giving me the creeps. Not yet. Grab the cat and let's go home. He likes to tinker with stuff. He must know something there to tinker with. Oh, a lot of things to tinker with. Whoa, what is this? It's heaven. Okay. That's Terminator Zero, Episode 1 and 2. Show is pretty interesting. I feel like it's going to take a little bit, or maybe we're at the point now where everything's going to ramp up because I felt Episode 2 was a little slow, but, you know, the beautiful animation is only good enough to help with the story. But I know they're trying to build something for us. And so I can't wait to see what happens in Episode 3 and 4. Guys, if this is your first time watching and you want to continue this journey with me, go ahead and hit subscribe so that we can watch the rest of this together. And if you really want to support and see the full interactions, head over to the Patreon, Get Real with Jay Reacts, and I will see you guys on the next couple episodes.